Hello everybody, this is Enrique Rodriguez here. Oh, I see Madam Small, my name is here, Richard Livingsworth. Hello, my name is Sikitan. Hello, my name is Muhammad. Hey guys, this is Tom Black here. Yo, friend, this is Chid here. This is episode 406 of the Mother Magic 5 season 41. What, what it's, uh, this is Jeff Woods. Bonjour everyone, and this is Rob Spear, and we are the Malala Chitons. Okay then, so. Anybody else got the topic? You always say, talk about this. You always say this. And in fact, I already got one. Which is this. Okay. You know, there are a lot of uh, gamers out there and nerds and geeks. Uh, you know, okay, I may be a nerd. Like, you know, like, like all of, like all of us. I mean, we play games. But I mean, I'm talking about, like, you know, like those who buy like you know sixty dollar games and even pre ordered ones. Okay, here's the thing. Of course, so like you know, it's fine. That, like you know, that's your decision to like buy uh, like you know and pre order like you know games uh, that cost about like oh, oh, sixty bucks, fifty nine ninety nine U.S. dollars. I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, like a lot of these. A lot of games that they bought is 60 and over. Really? Seriously? Okay, here's the thing. Like, I kind of find that, like, you know, annoying. Yeah, it's not much of a pet peeve, but it's, well, a little bit. But the thing is, like, I just really don't like, like, how, uh, like, you know, we end up paying at, like, you know, such a big price when uh, suddenly we can just... Like, you know, wait uh, until, like, maybe a few more months until, like, you know, the value of it goes down, even if it's still popular. You know, like, going down to 40 bucks, uh, maybe next year, or maybe six months uh, after, like, the release date. You know, I mean, for God's sake, like, I've seen, like, you know, many people buying, like, I've seen, like, people, like, almost the same people buying, like, a lot of games that are worth 60 bucks and over, and uh, and some of them are probably like, you know, even though they may have jobs, but they end up going broke. I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, seriously, dude, newsflash. If you can't afford the game, just wait. And if you really want it so badly, why don't you just simply like, you know, get a coupon while you're at it? I mean, coupons are, like, you know, are better. Like, or find out like a special deal or something, like, you know, that you can like, get for new, uh, like, you know, games, and even used games uh, that are worth 60 bucks, uh, like, the prime, of, the peak of its value. I mean, I kind of find that, like, you know, really bothering. I mean, I mean, I like those new games, but it's just that, like, you know, the prices are really staggering. Like, I just can't, like, you know, take it. I mean, of course, like, I know marketing, I know, like, you know, that's how, like, you know, prices work, but, like, you know, the thing is, I don't know why, uh, like, you know, people fall into that. Like, you know, I don't know why people, like, just don't, like, you know, use their common sense. Like, you know, if people, like, you know, can't afford, uh, like, these games all the time, why don't they just simply, like, you know, wait? Or maybe, uh, like, you know, have, uh, like, you know, some of, maybe a few of their friends, uh, like, you know, buy the games for them if they have enough money. Like, if they really wanted the game badly. I mean, really. Like, it's as simple as that. And if you're a loner, well, you're just gonna have to wait. You know, or find out, like, you know, coupon, like, you know, you know, to get new games. I mean, I know, I know, we can all get old games just to save the price, you know. But, I'm, I'm t but like, I'm talking about, like, you know, the new game, uh, 60 bucks and over aspect. You know, those are the ones that I'm talking about, you know. I mean, I, I remember back in, like, 2013, like, when, uh, like, you know, a lot of people were waiting online, like, you know, for, like, new consoles, such as, uh, like, you know, the Xbox One and the PS4. It was known as the Console Wars, like, of 2013. I'm like, people kept battling it, like, you know, their way, like, and pre-ordered them. And so many pre-orders then, uh, like, you know, ordering it, like, you know, uh, during, like, the release date, like, and beyond. You know, it's, it's really annoying, you know. And people, like, you know, always tend to get impatient, you know? And, and, you know, and, you know, these games, of course, I remember, like, you know, PS4 cost about 500 bucks, Xbox One cost about 400 bucks. Like, it's just, well, I mean, of course, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know it's typical. 
like, you know, it'd be pretty much better, like, you know, if, uh, like, you know, there was such thing as, like, you know, renting consoles, even renting new games, like, especially PC games, which, like, you know, Gamefly should do. And also, like, you know, the gaming industry is pretty much, uh, like, you know, honestly, a monopoly. I mean, GameStop is the only store, like, you know, big, you know, big enough, or, or, or the only, like, you know, big store around. Like that sells video games, and then that's it. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, sure, Toys R Us, uh, like yeah, uh, and uh, like uh, some other stores to sell uh, like you know video games. But I'm talking about like GameStop, game, uh, like those stores, like GameStop, like total like uh, you know monopolies. You know, and basically like you know gaming industry, uh, like you know, just like I don't understand uh, like you know economics and business. You know. But it's just that, like, it doesn't, like, re really make any sense, so, like, you know, when it comes to, like, you know, those uh, things, 60 bucks for, you know, for new games, so, like, you know, there has to be a reason, like, if, uh, like, if it were five stars, then definitely, you know, 60 bucks, but, like, if it has four stars, it shouldn't be 60 buck, uh, bucks, you know, it's just really annoying. Like, that's just how I view my pricing, like, you know, if I were to sell games, so, like, yeah, if I were, like, a business, like, you know, person, then I'm, I obviously would change the rules, uh, like, you know, of, like, the whole gaming industry, like, you know, pricing things. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay, so, uh, basically, you bore me with that. You know, I'm, I like to play games, and I love to spend 60 bucks on all of them. Really? You don't use common sense when, you sh when you're supposed to be saving a lot, like, you know, for, like, reasonable things, like, probably, like, you know, business uh, trips, you know, for, uh, like, you know, your business, uh, like, you know, for desync. Yeah, but, uh, like, you know, I just, I just love new games. Like, I don't like used games. Well, actually, you know, there's some used games that are so legendary, and even Pokemon, like, you know, some Pokemon games are worth more than, uh, like, you know, what it's normally used, you know? Yeah, but that only works, uh, like, you know, with cards and whatever. Whatever. You know, I'm surprised that all of us, uh, uh, the rest of uh, the six of you guys uh, haven't, haven't talked to since Enrique brought up the, to the topic. Yeah, I really don't want to talk much about video games. I mean, I kind of I kinda find that boring. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, like, we play games, but, like, yeah, I don't, like, really want to go further to depth, like, you know, with this whole debate thing, you know, uh, you know, my, no, we don't, we don't really want to debate, you know, we just want to, like, you know, just get this episode over with, you know, I mean, like, thing is, like, you know, we don't know much about business, I mean, that's up to Marlin, like, you know, to do this. Yeah, I bet he's all pissed right now because, uh, like, you know, we said, it, like, you know, uh, leave it to Marlin to take all the all the business. You know, he's the owner of Sublime Corp. He founded this, not us. You know, we're just his mascots. Come on. <laughs> you know, Phil couldn't agree more, you know. You know, we're just mascots. <laughs> I hope uh, Marlin doesn't, like, you know, delete this and whatever. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, Marlin. <laughs> So anyway, enough for taunting Marlin. Like enough for making fun of Marlin. Yeah, uh, he's uh, had a bad day. You know, whatever. So like, anyway, uh, let's just wrap this up. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, sir, man. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. You'll first see you in the next episode, episode four hundred seven, four zero seven. I mean, what more? It's see you next time. Oh, bye, 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 everyone. And don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Link in the description of many of our works. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.